In this podcast episode, rapper Jordan McCann shares his life story and discusses his experiences growing up in Salford, Manchester. He talks about his struggles, including spending over 10 years in prison, and how he has turned his life around to become a successful artist. Jordan mentions that he was born in Manchester and grew up in Salford, living in hostels and struggling with discrimination due to his family's background as travelers. He talks about the challenges he faced in school, where he was often excluded from activities and trips due to his family's reputation. He reflects on the moment he realized the extent of the struggle he faced and the discrimination he experienced. He recalls incidents of vandalism and violence directed towards his family, and how he felt like a target in his community. He also discusses the impact of not having a father figure in his life, although he still feels a strong connection to his father, who passed away in prison. The podcast delves into Jordan's first encounters with trouble, including arrests for car theft and assault. He talks about his time in secure units and how he enjoyed the structure and activities provided there. He also discusses the challenges of being away from his family at such a young age. The conversation then shifts to Jordan's second major sentence, which he received at the age of 15. He talks about the pressure he faced to give up names and the fear he felt during this time. He mentions that his older brothers were also involved in criminal activities, but there was no guidance or advice to steer him away from that path. Jordan discusses the feeling of power he experienced during robberies and how it influenced his decision to continue engaging in criminal behavior. He also talks about the constant battle between good and evil within himself and how his past experiences and environment contribute to this struggle. The podcast explores Jordan's time in Hump Hindley, which he describes as his home and a place where he grew up. He reflects on the friendships he made there and the impact it had on his life. He also discusses the challenges of leaving prison and the pressure to return to a life of crime. Jordan opens up about the constant battle he faces between wanting to change his life and the temptations and pressures that pull him back into his old ways. He acknowledges the impact his actions have had on his family, particularly his mother, and expresses his desire to make her proud. Jordan continues by describing his life of crime and violence, stating that he spent 11 years in jail and was involved in wars throughout the city. He expresses frustration with people who criticize his music, claiming that they don't understand the life he has lived. He emphasizes his love for his fans who can relate to his experiences, but feels that civilians and others who haven't lived his life have no clue what they're talking about. Jordan acknowledges that he has made mistakes and has a troubled past, but he is grateful for the opportunity to turn his life around through music. He expresses his happiness and contentment with his current situation, stating that he is proud of his accomplishments and is ready to disappear from the public eye to focus on his personal goals. The conversation then turns to Jordan's feelings of self-worth and his struggle with feeling good enough. He admits to feeling a mix of emotions, including anger and frustration, when discussing his past and the challenges he has faced. He explains that talking about his experiences brings back memories and emotions, but he is trying to mature and move on from his past traumas. Jordan reflects on the violence and crime that surrounded him growing up, attributing it to the nature of the area he lived in. He mentions family feuds, people trying to make a living, and the prevalence of drugs and violence. He describes some of the worst things he witnessed in prison, including people hanging themselves and violent altercations. The conversation then shifts to Jordan's involvement in music. He explains that he always had a dream of being involved in rap, but it wasn't until he attended a music course in jail that he began to take it seriously. He talks about the feeling he had when he first started rapping comparing it to the scene in the movie, Straight Outta Compton, where Eazy-E is in the booth for the first time. He describes the passion and energy he felt and how it became his outlet for expressing himself. Jordan discusses his connection to religion and his faith in God. He explains that he turned to religion during his lowest moments and found solace and guidance in the Bible. He talks about reading the Old and New Testaments and finding comfort in the teachings of Jesus Christ. He emphasizes his gratitude for God's presence in his life and his belief that he is on a mission to spread God's love and help others. 
Jordan shares his experiences working with churches and religious organizations, including a music course he helped create in prison called the Rat Pack. He talks about the impact of music on his life and how it has allowed him to connect with people from all walks of life. He expresses his desire to use his platform to help others and make a positive difference in the world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.